Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, I have a lesson for you just talking about the steps for solving systems of linear equations using substitution. So this video is intended for Algebra 1 students who have been exposed to solving using substitution in a grade 8 math class. Or if you're in grade 8 math and maybe you just simply want to review the steps for solving, you're in the right place. So here we go. Here are the steps for solving a system using substitution. To solve this system, step one, if necessary, solve one of the equations for one of the variables. So if one equation isn't already y equals an expression or x equals an expression, you're going to need to solve one of them for x or y. Step two, Substitute the expression for the solved variable from step one into the second equation for that variable. Step three, solve the equation. Step four, substitute the value that you solve for in step three into either of the original equations to find the value of the other variable. Step five, write your solution as an ordered pair. And most of all, we're going to check that this solution is true for both equations. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to model one for you using these steps. So we have been given this system of linear equations and we're asked to solve using substitution. So step one in this case is not necessary because our first equation is solve for y. y equals 2x subtract 10. So we're going to take this expression and we know it's equal to y, so we're going to replace y with this mathematical expression. So here we go, negative 4x, and now instead of adding y, we've replaced y with 2x subtract 10. Now we're going to combine like terms to solve for x. Negative 4x and 2x are negative 10x. Subtract 10 equals negative 8. So now to solve for x, we're going to add 10 to each side to isolate the variable term. So negative 2x is equal to positive 2. Now we've got to solve for x by doing the inverse of multiply by negative 2 and divide both sides of our equation by negative 2, giving us a solution of x equals negative 1. Now we're going to take this value and plug it in to either of these equations to solve for y. I'm going to use the first equation. I'm going to replace x with negative 1. So now we have y equals 2 multiplied by negative 1, subtract 10. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, subtract 10 is negative 12. So our ordered pair is negative 1, negative 12. Our final step is to check. We go back to both of these original equations. So y needs to be equal to negative 12 when I replace x with negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 subtract 10 is negative 12. Let's check the second equation. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. Positive 4 plus negative 12 is negative 8. It checks. So our solution to this system is the ordered pair negative 1, negative 12. Be sure that when you answer with an ordered pair that you have parentheses and your x and y values are in the correct location separated by a comma. Now it's your turn. I would like you to pause the video here, solve the system using substitution, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So our first step is not necessary because this equation is solved for y. So we're going to take this expression and replace y in this first equation with that x plus 3. So here we go, 4x plus 2 times y, which we know is equal to x plus 3. So now our next step is to distribute. We're going to distribute 2 times x, which is 2x, and 2 times 3, which is 6. Now to solve for x, we're going to combine our like terms, 4x and 2x are 6x. To isolate our variable term, we're going to do the inverse of add 6 and subtract 6 from each side. This is a zero pair, so it gives us 6x equals negative 12 and negative 6 are negative 18. 
The inverse of multiply by 6 is to divide both sides by 6, so x is equal to negative 3. Now we're going to take this x is equal to negative 3, and I'm going to go back to this equation just because it's simpler, and replace x with our value negative 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So our ordered pair is x negative 3, y 0, in parentheses, separated by a comma. Now let's check. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. 2 times 0 is 0. Negative 12 plus 0 is negative 12. Now y is 0, so let's check. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. It checks. Here's one where step 1 is necessary. We're going to solve the system using substitution, and neither of these equations are solved for y or for x, so there's nothing y equals or x equals. So I'm going to identify that this first equation has a y with a coefficient of 1, so this would be the simplest equation to solve for y. However, you could solve either one that you wanted. I'm going to solve this equation for y. So I'm going to add 3x to both sides to get it to be y all alone. I get y equals 3x subtract 4. So now I know that y is equal to 3x subtract 4, and I'm going to replace y in this equation with that expression. So now I have 4x plus 3y. Our y is 3x minus 4. Next step is to distribute the 3 to solve for x. 3 times 3x is 9x. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Now we need to combine our like terms. 4x and 9x are 13x. Subtract the 12 and it equals 1. To get 13x isolated, I'm going to do the inverse of subtract 12 and add 12 to each side, giving us 13x equals 13. Divide both sides by 13 and x is equal to 1. Now we're going to come back up. I'm going to use this equation because it's already solved for y. I'm going to replace x with 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Subtract 4 is negative 1. So our ordered pair is x1, y negative 1, 1 negative 1. Let's check our work. When x is 1, that's negative 3. Negative 3 add negative 1 is negative 4. Let's check the second equation. 4 times 1 is 4. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 4 plus negative 3 is positive 1. It checks. Your turn. I'd like you to solve the system using substitution. Please pause now and come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So neither of these equations are solved for y or x. They're not y equals or x equals. So I'm going to solve this equation for y. You could have solved that one. We'll get the same answer. So I'm going to add 6x to both sides. So y is equal to 6x plus 1. So now I'm going to take this expression for y and put it into this equation for y. Here we go. 2x subtract y, which we know is 6x plus 1. I hope you didn't fall for this trick right here. It's a little trick. There's an invisible 1 there. You need to subtract the 6x and subtract the 1. You have to subtract both terms, or think of it as distributing negative 1. So we have 2x subtract 6x subtract 1. Combine like terms, 2x subtract 6x is negative 4x, subtract our 1, and it equals negative 5. To get negative 4x alone, we're going to add 1 to each side, giving us negative 4x equals negative 4. Divide both sides by negative 4, and x is equal to positive 1. Bring that positive 1 up to this equation, and we have 6 times 1, which is 6. Add 1, y is 7. So our ordered pair is 1, 7. Let's check it. 2 times 1 is 2. Subtract 7 is negative 5. Negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 7 is 1. It checks. So there you have it. Those are the steps for solving a system of linear equations using substitution. I thank you for joining me today here at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time.
Come back soon and have a great day.